Hey, what's up guys? Toby here back with another video and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are actually going to be doing a walkthrough in uh, TechSmith's new editing software. This is Camtasia Studio 9 and uh, the videos that I'm going to make about this software is going to be split up into three parts. This first part is just going to be me just taking a look at the software, you know, that kind of stuff. And then the next video is going to be me editing a video from scratch. And then the final video is going to be my review of the software. Basically what I like about the software, what I don't like, and some suggestions for change. So let's open up the software. TechSmith were nice enough to give me a key for free. So thanks to them for that. Now here is the software. This looks a lot different to their old software, but the actual functionality should be the same. It's just a different UI and it actually uses uh, 64 bits instead of 32 bits. Uh, so you can utilize your system a lot better. All right, so the usual style we have our timeline here We have a media bin here of which you can get in your media files and all that a library here uh, We also have a record button here. So click that and you will be able to Record your own screen with with audio and camera and all that stuff that works phenomenal, too. Uh, so this is an all-in-one thing right here in terms of the library you have got some very nice stuff actually so we have got uh, some backgrounds like these um, We have got pretty much great backgrounds that I think would be good for yeah, Companies and stuff like that We have got a lot of icons like this one suggestion though for TechSmith is that I would like to see the actual Kind of like a thumbnail for for the content here so that you know exactly what you're doing uh, so that you so that you don't have to open it uh, that would be a great thing but uh, you have got a bunch of icons here and some motion graphics like these intros and stuff like that looks very cool actually um, we have got uh, motion graphic graphics uh, we have got lower thirds which uh, I'm going to be using a lot like this uh, to show things like specifications, etc. I like that a lot. Very nice to see. Oh, and I should also tell you that you can do a lot of very, very cool things with these icons. So uh, let's say that we want to bring this icon down. Slide that down. And then we want this icon too. And then let's say we want uh, um, a monitor, okay? So, um, on this track, let's say we want uh, the house to uh, have some kind of animation. So we have different types of things that we can do, and those can be found in either uh, the behaviors tab or the animations tab. Uh, the animations tab is mostly just zooming in like this and uh, then uh, the behavior tab is very cool so you can get the thing to pop in and pulsate like this for example so now we have added that behavior to this thing and now let and now let's play that back so as you could see that looks very interesting <laughs> Very nice actually, so let's say we then want uh, the office building to have a reveal And then we want uh, uh, The screen here to have uh, a jump and fall and now that has has those animations applied to them but Bam right there looks very interesting and then bam out and in comes that one and fades like that, pulsating like that, and in comes that one. So you can do a lot of interesting uh, things like typography, for example, which is very nice to see. I have been missing that in Camtasia Studio. Um, we have got transitions, you know, the usual stuff. This is pretty much the usual stuff that we have seen before with uh, TechSmith uh, Camtasia Studio uh, 8. 
These are pretty much fine, there's no problem, but they're not amazing either. Uh, but I gotta say, I do really like the behaviors and the animations tab. Those are very great to have, I like it. Uh, next up, you can have cursor effects, so well, when you click, you can have it, you know, click, basically. Uh, voice, nar voice narration, and here, you can do a lot of interesting things, actually. So here, you choose, uh, you choose with a microphone you want to use. Here is the volume for that microphone. And uh, here, you can actually write your own script like hello guys toby here back with another video and when you actually start recording you can just read off that script uh, one thing that i would really like to see though is to make the script more like a teleprompter so you can set the speed of the text and then just read it in in uh, much bigger letters that would be pretty damn awesome next up you have got audio effects which is basically noise removal leveling fade in and out and clip speed visual effects you have got things like shadows and borders around color adjustment uh, you can do uh, remove a color so you can uh, remove the green of the green screen colorize and uh, do hotspots and clips click clip speed all right and then we have got captions and interactivity which you are not going to be using with youtube and uh, up here we have got the share tab and here you can choose to either directly upload it to things like google drive youtube vimeo screencast.com or you could choose to get it uh, as a local file or a custom production so that is the main parts of the software. Uh, this is basically the uh, the overview. And then in the next couple of weeks, you guys will also get a video of which I edit an entire video uh, on the Camtasia Studio 9 software, which is going to be very interesting to see how that all pans out. I will then, of course, render that video in 4K and see the final result and see how fast it renders. It's going to be very interesting to see. Thank you for watching. Thank you, TechSmith, for providing me with the review key. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.